In today's lesson, I'm going to introduce you to 3D geometry. Now, when we draw a shape on paper, it only has two dimensions. It has length and it has width or height. But we live in a three-dimensional world in which items have length, they have height, but they also have depth. And so if we're going to start solving uh, more realistic problems, we're going to need to start using 3D geometry. So 3D objects have vertices, edges, and faces. Vertices are the corners. Edges are the straight lines that connect the vertices. And the faces are the 2D shapes connected at the edges. Now, we'll have a better conceptual understanding of all of these terms if we can identify them on a 3D figure. So let's go ahead and start with a cube. Now, a cube has six square faces. And the edges are the lines that connect the faces. And the vertices are the points that connect the edges. Now, in this course, we're going to study 3D objects that are actually extensions of the 2D objects or uh, 2D shapes that we already know. So the cube is the 3D extension of the square. Now, a prism is made up of two bases uh, that are connected by rectangular faces. That's an important thing to remember. So the shape of the base determines what the prism is called. And this one has a triangle base. And so it is called a triangular prism. This one has a rectangle base, so it is called a rectangular prism. Now a pyramid has a polygon for a base and three or more triangular faces that meet at a single vertex. So the shape of the base, again, determines what the pyramid is called. And this one has a square as its base, so it is called a square-based pyramid. And this one has a triangle as its base, so it is called a triangle-based pyramid. Now, what would happen if uh, we made a prism or a pyramid with a circular base? Well, then it the result wouldn't exactly be a prism or a pyramid, but they would have some similarities, and we'll talk about that. So here's a circular base. This is a cylinder, and this circular base, where it meets at a single point, is called a cone. Uh, now, an object in which every point lies an equal distance from the center is called a sphere. So if you took any point on the sphere, doesn't matter where that point is, the distance to the center will be the same no matter where you are. And that's actually called the radius of the sphere. Now, it is a, uh, this is the three-dimensional analog of a circle. Now, volume is the amount of three-dimensional space that is inside an object. And so for the rest of this unit, we are actually going to focus only on the volume. And that is your introduction to 3D geometry.